Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Lee Code called Longest Repeating Character Replacement. It's a medium. We're going to jump right into it. You are given a string s and an integer k. You can choose any character of the string and change it to any other uppercase English character. You can perform this operation at most k times. Return the length of the longest substring containing the same letter you can get after performing the above operations. So example one, we have s being a, b, a, b, and k is two. So here we can either replace the two a's into b or the two b's into a to get a total max length of four. Example two, we have the following string s and k being one. If we replace this a in the middle to a b, we get a length of four. Or we could have also replaced this b into an a to still get this length of four. There are multiple ways to get that maximum substring. So we want to find the longest substring of the same exact character. And we can convert any character into any other character a total number of k times. So how do we do this? If we have no idea how to approach a problem or even begin thinking about it, we always want to start off with examples, start super basic and work our way up. So say I have just one character and K is one. So I have just A and K is one. What is my output here? Well, here's just going to be the length of one, right? I can change this into any other character. It doesn't matter. The longest repeating character substring is just going to be length one. Now, what if I have two characters? I have A and B and K is one. What's my output here? I can either convert the A into B to get BB or B into A to get AA for an output of two. So now what if I have four A's and one B and K is still one? What's my output here? Here, my majority element is an A, right? I have four A's and only one B. So it makes sense to convert that non-majority element into the majority element. Because if we take this majority element, we have a longer number of the same characters, which means our substring can be bigger and there are fewer characters to convert into that majority. There's only one, right? If you wanted to go the other way, we would only get a length of one. And now we have to convert all of these into that non-majority element. So the best case scenario for any substring is to find what the majority element is and try to convert all the non-majority elements into that majority character. So over here, I just need to convert B into A and K is one. I can do that to get an output of five. Now, last example, say I have A, B, A, B, C, and K is two. I want to apply that same majority concept again. So let's start really small and say we only consider that first character we have in our string, just A. So, so far we've only seen one A and this is also our majority, right? We have one as our majority. So what's the maximum length we can make here? Our max length is one. A is our substring with all the same characters. Now I want to see if I can get bigger. So I'm going to see if I can include this B. So at this point I have one A and also one B. Now the majority here stays the same, right? I have one A and one B. It doesn't matter which one I choose to convert into any other. So here I will need to convert one into the other and K is two, which means I can definitely convert at least one into the other. So right now the maximum length we can make is of size two. Now, can we get even bigger? So let's see if we can bring this A into the mix as well. At this point, I would have two A's. So now I have two A's and this is my majority. I have two A's and only one B. Now the length of my substring is three, right? I'm going from A to B to A and I have two as my majority, which means one character as a non-majority that I'll need to convert into the majority. So K is two, which means we can convert up to two non-majority elements into that majority. So our substring right now is valid. We can convert it into the same characters. And now our max length is three. Now, can we keep expanding, right? Can we keep pushing out to the right? So now we're going to bring this B into the mix, which means we have two Bs and two A's. The number of majority elements here is two, either from the A or B, it doesn't matter. We have two majority elements and our size is four, which means we're valid, right? We have two majority elements. So four minus two is two and K is two. We can convert those two characters into our majority. So right now our length is four. Now, can we keep pushing out, right? Right now our substring is A, B, A, B. What if we include this C? If we include this C, C is now one, which means the count of our majorities is still two, either A or B, it doesn't matter. And the size of our substring is five. So what's five minus two? That's three. We need to convert three elements into that majority element. And we can't do that because K is two. So this is not a valid substring, which means we need to make our substring smaller. So push left in. So instead of starting at A, we now start at B and see if we can make a valid substring here. So we no longer start off at A, which means we're going to get rid of an A. So our character count is going to go down by one, which means B is now our majority. So B, A, B, C, this is our new substring. The majority count is two and two non-majorities so adding that together, right? Two plus K is four and the length of our substring is four. So we are valid. This is not greater than the max length we already stored. So there's no updates needed there, which means we can see if we can try expanding more. We are valid at this point. 
but there are no more characters to process, so we can't make a bigger substring. So this is what we want to do, right? We want to start off with left and right pointers marking our beginning and end of our substring, and we want to see if we can push right out. So in the beginning, left is going to equal right, which is going to equal zero. Both left and right are at this character over here. Our max length is going to be initialized to zero. And we also want to keep counts of all the characters we see. So for that, we're going to initialize a default dictionary. So from collections, import default dict. And a default dict is different than a regular dictionary because instead of checking whether a key is present in our dictionary and then adding one to that count, we just need to do plus equals one and it'll initialize a key for us. It's just less lines of code. So my counts dictionary is going to be a default dictionary of integers. So right now, both left and right are at index zero, which means I want to take into account what this character is and add it to my dictionary. So S of right is going to be the character that I'm on, and I want to add this to my dictionary of counts. So counts plus equals one. Now that we've increased our count of this character, we want to see if this could be the majority. So for that, I'm also going to initialize a majority variable initialize to zero. And I'm going to see if this new count is now a better majority. So majority is going to be the max of what we have so far and what the counts of our character are counts of S of right. So now we've added our character to our dictionary and checked what the majority is. Now we want to make sure the substring we are on is a valid substring before updating our max length. And how do we check that, right? If majority count plus K is less than the size of our substring, we're not valid. So while majority plus K is less than the length of our current substring, so right minus left plus one, we're going to move left in. So we're going to be getting rid of a character that left is on. In order to do that, we need to decrease that count from our counts dictionary. So counts of S of left is going to be minus equals one, and then we move left up by one. So plus equals one. Once we break out of this while loop, we know we're at a valid substring. So we can compare whether the length of our substring is greater than the max length we're storing. If so, we go ahead and update that. So max length is going to equal the max of what we have so far and right minus left plus one. And once that's done, we can see if we can continue expanding. So we're going to move right up by one. So right plus equals one. And we keep doing this logic while we can still push right. So we're going to put all of this under a while loop. So while right is less than the length of S, we continue doing this. And in the end, all we have to do is return our max length. So let's go ahead and submit this. Runtime error, module not found. That's because this should be collections. Okay, now let's submit this. And it is accepted. Now before leaving, let's just run through a super quick example going through our code line by line to make sure we fully understand exactly how this is working. Okay, say my input string is D E E P and K is one. Going through this line by line, we're first gonna initialize left and right to be zero. So left is zero, right is zero, and they're both pointing at the zeroth index. Max length is zero as is majority. And counts is our default dictionary. Okay, now that everything's initialized, we are going in this while loop. Right is less than the length of S, length of S is four and right is zero, so this is true. So now we're going to add to our counts dictionary S of right. So what is S of right? Right is zero. What is S of zero? What's at the zero with index? That's character D. So we're going to add one to D. So in counts, D is now one. Now we want to see if we can update this majority. We just increase the count of a character. So what if this is now the new majority? So majority is going to be the max of what we have so far, which is zero. And what the count of this character we just added are. So that's going to be one. Max of zero and one is one, which means our majority is one. So now we want to check if we're not a valid substring. If that's not the case, we would move left in. So what is majority plus K? Majority plus K is two. And the length of our substring, right minus left plus one, zero minus zero plus one is one. So this is not true, right? Two is not less than one. So we don't need to push left in. Now we want to see what our new max length is with this substring. Our current max length is zero. So what is the length of our current valid substring? Right minus left plus one. So that's zero minus zero plus one, we have a length of one. So now our new max length is one. So now we add one to right, so it goes from zero to one. So we push this down over here, and this is our new substring. So we're back in this while loop, this is still true. One is less than four. So now we add this new character to our counts dictionary. What is S of right? S at index one is E. So we're gonna add one more count to E. So E now has one. And now we want to check since we increase the count of this character, is this character the new majority? 
Well, we have one of this character and our current majority is one. There's no change in majority. We still have one element of our majority element, whether it's D or E, we have one of that. So now we want to check what's majority plus K. That's going to be two is two less than one minus zero plus one. Two is not less than two. So we don't go into this while loop. We are a valid substring, right? We have one majority element and we can sub out one element. So we can have a size of two. So now we update our max length. This is now going to be two and we move right down by an index. So right is over here. Going back in this while loop, we update the counts. We have one more E and we want to see if this is the new majority. And it is now we have two E's and our majority previously was one. Our new majority count is going to be two. There are two majority elements in our current substring. So now we want to check if we are a valid substring. So majority plus K two plus one is three. That means we can have a valid substring length of three because we have two majority elements and we can convert one. So we can make a valid substring of length three. If the length of our substring is more than that length, then we're not valid. That means we need to push left in and make a smaller substring. So this is what that check is for, right? Majority plus K that's three. Three is not less than right minus left plus one. Three is not less than three, which means we are a valid substring. So we're going to update max length again. Max length now is going to be three and we move right down again. So moving right down, we are now at index three. We go back into this while loop, right? Is still less than the length of S. We update counts. We now have a P. So we have one P and because of this increase in character count, we want to check if this could possibly be the new majority. We have one P, our majority is two. This is not going to be the majority element. So now we check majority plus K two plus one is three. So three is less than three minus zero plus one, which is four. Three is less than four which means we're not a valid substring. The length of our substring is four, but we only have two of the majority elements, which means we should have been able to convert four minus two of those characters because we have two non-majority elements, but K is only one. We can only convert one of those non-majority elements into that majority one. So this is not a valid substring. They can't all be the same character, which means we go into this while loop and we shrink our substring. So what are we getting rid of? We're getting rid of this character over here. So S of left minus equals one, getting rid of one D. So now this is going to be zero and we move left in by one. So left is now at one. This is our new substring. And we go back into this while loop, right? We want to keep doing this up until we have a valid substring. So now we check right minus left plus one. What is the length of our substring here? We have a size three. We want to check what majority plus K is. Majority plus K is three. And our size is three. So this is not less than our size, which means we are valid. And we want to see if we can update max length. So our current length is three. It's not greater than what we have so far. So there's no need to update it. So we move right down again. So now it's at four and we go back into this while this is no longer true, right? Right is no longer less than the length of S, which means there are no more characters to process. And we exit, we return max length. The max length was three. And that is our final answer. And we can see that that is true, right? Either through EEP or DEE, -E, we get the max length of three. We're talking about space and time complexity. For time, because we are going through every single character in S, that's going to be O of N if there are N characters in S. And for space, since we know we're only working with uppercase English letters, there's only ever going to be 26 of those. So we only need 26 keys in our dictionary. So that's actually going to be constant O of one for space. So we just went ahead and solved the longest repeating character replacement. If you have any questions whatsoever, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.